Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian and joining me is Shannon Morse from Tech Thing. You may remember her from our Gamescom coverage back when RTX was launched in the beginning. You're here for another milestone moment though. I am. I'm what so just sad. happened? Well, it's CES 2019 here in Las Vegas and Jensen just introduced a slew of information mostly centering around RTX. Yeah, we got to see the recap of what ray tracing is, how it works and the new Turing architecture, but the biggest thing right off the bat, the headline is a new graphics card is coming to the Turing family. Yes. The RTX 2060 is officially announced. This one is so inexpensive. It's $349. And from my friends back at home, this is the card that they have been waiting for. You know, the budget-friendly machine that you can now build with RTX with ray tracing enabled. One of my favorite parts about watching the press conference was that they showed a demo of Battlefield 5. And we had seen one before when we were at Gamescom. So I was like, okay, you know, that's cool. Turns out that one was laid on the 2060. Along with the new announcement of the RTX 2060, there was also a big announcement in the world of laptops. Max-Q, RTX 2080s, 2070s, 2060s, portable under five pounds. They announced all major OEMs are gonna be coming out with RTX laptops. There's going to be over 40 laptops, 17 of which are going to be featuring Max-Q design to get that balance of performance and power efficiency. So depending on whether you're a gamer, or you're a creative content person like I am, you're going to have a really good option no matter which OEM you go to since there's going to be so many different options. Partnering along with this is another big announcement and that is the implementation of DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling, that got a little bit of attention at Gamescom. They're finally implementing it and what's really exciting about this is this is going to unlock the true potential of ray tracing. We're going to see games where you still have those beautiful ray trace reflections, those shadows, and then the frame rate is going to go up even more. Really exciting stuff. So cool, and it looks absolutely amazing in person too. You really don't get the true effect of DLSS until you actually see it in person, like we've been able to in the demos and everything. So I'm very excited about this yeah. as well. And they announced Anthem is going to be supporting DLSS when it drops. Another thing that I really wanted to mention was the brand new G-Sync compatible monitor yeah. certifications that they've been doing. 400 monitors that they've been testing over the course of months. Yeah, and it's not like they're just letting any monitor, you know, get the certification check no. mark. I mean, they only certified 12. 12. They've got 150 more to test, and they're developing drivers for the monitors that pass muster so they can really be optimized to work with your card as good as possible. Amazing. So a lot of exciting stuff. And that was just like the highlights. I mean, they've yeah. got announcements for video editors. They've got announcements for streamers. If you use one PC, some NVIDIA hardware on the RTX chips yep. is going to help take the load off your CPU for encoding. Tons of amazing stuff here at CES, and we're going to be here to cover, well, as much as we can. If you subscribe to this channel and leave a comment on any of our CES videos, you have a chance to win one of 10 RTX 2080 Ti's that we're giving away. So you should probably subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you here at CES on GeForce.